Good afternoon, RVers. This is Eddie here at Veering's RV Center, and I wanted to do a quick video on a brand new year 2024 New Camp Tab 400. This is going to be their newest model, just hit the lot for the year 2024, and I want to show you a few changes that they made, mainly cosmetic and a big difference when it comes to your solar capacity. So without further ado, let's get into it. Up front, you are going to have just a manual tongue jack. It's gonna take a two inch ball, and then you have this aluminum platform. Usually the aluminum platform is only gonna be on the boondocks. What's nice is that New Camp decided to make the boondock addition, which is a pitched axle, larger rims, off-grid tires, this aluminum platform, that is now standard on their Tab 400s. So if you are looking to get a Tab 400, it's probably gonna have this boondock addition on it already if it is a 2024. So up front, great cargo area. You do have that platform which you can strap stuff to. And then if you wanna open this up, you have a 20 pound propane tank that goes in there. And then if you wanted to do a second one or just mainly use it as storage, you can do that as well on the other side of the propane. They used, in older models before 2023, they used to do a battery in there, but now they carried over the 2023 change where this is gonna come with a 100 amp hour lithium battery already on board, which is a fantastic option, especially if you're doing a little bit of boondocking. But for New Camp Tab 400s, typical New Camp standard, you are going to have a composite flooring, which is going to have a type of like polymer foam um, in there. That's going to be your flooring just to ensure that you're not getting any mold or mildew buildup or anything if you do have any sort of like cracks, any water getting in there. Sidewalls and roof is going to be uh, aluminum framed, and then you have block foam insulation, Esdel in your sidewalls, which is an RV composite that is going to be both on the interior wall pane and on your exterior where the fiberglass is bonded to. Fully one piece aluminum roof, and then you have those aluminum trusses that go over as your roof structure. Dual pane acrylic windows on all your windows. Uh, most of them open up. There's a few little circular port windows that do not, but with these windows, you can open them up. They open from the bottom up, so you can keep them open in the rain as long as it's not a crazy downpour, but those do help with thermal regulation. So when you are camping, most of your heat is gonna be lost through your windows. With these being dual pane, you have that little air gap in between as kind of like a temperature regulator, just to ensure that you can camp in some colder weathers. With those, I will show you the blackout shade from the bottom and then the bug screen that you can pull down from the top, which is super innovative. You can meet in the middle and actually uh, and actually create how much airflow that you would like. Um, for the outside, for their graphic changes from 2023 to 2024, new in 2024 is you are gonna have this new camp logo that goes across the front, which I think looks fantastic. And then they changed where the Boondock Edition tag goes. Now it is up here by one of your running lights rather than in the back. But this is gonna be their Frontier graphic. It's also in their charcoal sidewall option, which is an upgrade. So it's gonna be that darker, more sleek look. Um, if you do go with that option, it will be for your sidewalls, but it does not go on to your roof. Your roof will still be white or silver. So just as a fair warning, but I think this looks fantastic. Biggest changes are gonna be in the interior, but let's just pop around the back. Just to show you, you got another New Camp badge right there. When it comes to your solar capability, you do have one solar panel on the roof, a 1200 watt inverter on the inside as well. But the sweet thing about this solar panel is it went from 165 watts to 310 watts. So basically doubled. So if you are uh, looking for something that's a little bit more boondock capable, this is definitely a sweet option, just because especially with that solar capability, that gives you a ton of freedom. What is pretty sweet is a new package is now introduced onto these Tab 400s. This is going to give you another 310 watt solar panel on the roof. You are going to get tank heaters on your tanks, and then you're also going to get an illuminated uh, an illuminated light underneath your coach, so kind of like a docking light or a, or a light that actually goes underneath. I haven't seen it yet personally, but that is gonna be a new addition to their 2024 models if you wanted to option it that way. Um, if you wanna know the name, feel free to give me a call, 616-965-9625, and I can go over a little bit more than that entails. But just as a fair warning, that is gonna be a new package that they do offer. 
On the outside, this is gonna be a little storage bay. You can lock it, which is awesome. This is for your table on the inside, your lagoon table, if you wanted to bring it outside. And then just check out the rims and the tires on this bad boy. They are beefy. They have not really changed from 2023. Just because if it's not broke, don't fix it. All right, stepping inside. If you're used to seeing new camps in their classic birch cabinetry, this is gonna be a little bit of a change. So check this out. They wanted to go more for a luxury class B styling. So just to pan around, you no longer can get the brown or the birch option. This is the standard. This is going to be their elm cabinetry. It's still going to be birch and it's still going to be real wood. It's just now going to look more like elm on the inside. So I think it looks awesome. It really opens up the space and it looks a little bit more sleek. Kind of exactly what they're going for, that class B look, because this is a luxury smaller teardrop camper. So just to start up front, this is going to be their bunk bed setup. So you do have the dinette or the U-shaped dinette that you can utilize. Um, so you do have that for seating space. This lagoon table will rotate around if it wasn't so tight. It will rotate around for whoever the seating, uh, the seating configuration is. Then you do have a bunk that folds up and you will be able to sleep two smaller kids or something up there or just use it for extra storage. I'm not going to get the bunk set up, but you definitely can find pictures of that online just because it does take a little bit of time, but you're making it for sleeping. So it's definitely an awesome, awesome feature. Um, if you do like the more traditional booth dinette that you're familiar with the 2022 New Camp Tab 400 or maybe the year before, they are going back to that. So rather you like this with the hidden bunk or you like that traditional booth dinette setup, you will be able to get either one um, in 2024, which I think is awesome just to give you a little bit of variability. But up front, biggest thing up here I wanted to show you is you do have that blackout shade that you pull up from the bottom and then you have that bug screen that you pull down from the top. So just to show you that awesome innovation, super convenient and definitely not cheap. When it comes to your heating system in here, this does of course have air conditioning, but your heating system is going to be the Aldi heating system. It's going to be a hydronic heater that uses heated glycol pushed through radiators. This is not a change for New Camp. They put this in almost everything that they manufacture because it's easy, it's convenient, and it's silent. It's very, very quiet when you do have it on. You're not going to hear that blower turning on and blowing that hot air all around. It's a radiant heating system, so it's going to basically create a barrier around your sidewalls and your windows and around your flooring just to ensure that you have consistent heat. And it also works as your tankless water heater. The nice thing about it is if you're plugged into shore power, you can run it off of that. If you are not plugged into shore power and out boondocking, you can run it off of propane. So it's kind of like a two-way heating system. Heading to the side from the front entryway, here is your bathroom. Not much of a change here. You still have a nice big wet bath and you can see all that cabinetry. You have a little vent fan up top. For venting, you do have a window which will have a blackout shade. Little toilet right there which has a foot flush. And then rather than that really small porcelain sink, they now changed it up and gave you a little bit of a bigger sink in the corner, which I think is really nice. But just check that out. Heading down to this side, you are going to have a 12 volt refrigerator. Just to open that up and show you. So nice and big. You do have a little ice box up there. This is made by Isotherm. Stereo system. Definitely lots of cabinetry in here. So you do have plenty of spaces to change or to store stuff. A carryover from 2023 is that you have this little storage bin underneath, which I think is great. Something that New Camp does that not a lot of manufacturers do. It's mainly in like Class B's or luxury, luxury Class B's or C's or A's. Is even in a smaller teardrop like this, you have dovetailed cabinets, which is awesome. So your drawers are dovetailed just for longevity. They want to make sure this thing is going to last a long time. Back here, you'll see you have a cushion that's part of your bunk. And then right there, that's just a little box that has your spare tire in it. This is right onto our lot. So we haven't had much time to lot prep it or anything, but I wanted to make sure to get a video out. Here is your stargazer window. So that will open up and then you do have a pull down bug screen or that blackout shade from the bottom. And with that opening up, you get some awesome ventilation. You can just lay in bed and watch the stars. It's pretty sweet. Uh, something that New Camp does that's another thing that's pretty unique in the industry is they do a thing called the Froley system. 
RV mattresses are usually pretty thin. Uh, with this, you can you can swap this mattress out absolutely if you want to. Um, but this mattress is actually really comfortable just because with this Froley system, it makes the mattress more comfortable adding a like spring system underneath. But that's not the main function of it. The main function is a massive amount of mold and mildew or like the majority of your mold and mildew in campers can form underneath your mattress, especially if it's wet or moist and it's interacting with say OSB board or plywood. They add this spring system underneath. So when the mattress is just sitting like this, you can get plenty of airflow underneath just to make sure that you can dry out everything. So it's an innovation just to ensure that all the structural materials stay intact and you are camping. It is gonna get wet in here. You wanna ensure that that can dry out underneath. So it's just new camp basically saying, hey, you're buying this, we want it to last a long time. Pop it up, little Jensen TV that will fold out so you can see it when you're sitting at the dinette. Lots of cabinetry, lots of uh, cabinet space down here just to check that stuff out. You're gonna have a smaller Dometic two burner cooktop. And then here is your sink, which is traditional from New Camp, at least in the tab 400s. It's gonna be a little hideaway sink just because your, your prep space is limited. So they wanna make sure that you have plenty of room to get all your cooking done. So quick walkthrough on a 2024 New Camp Tab 400. This is their Boondock Edition, which is now standard. Uh, if you have any questions, you can call me. It's Eddie here at Veerinks RV Center. My number is 616-965-9625. As you know, I am an avid New Camp fan, so I would love to talk to you about it. If this interests you at all or you just want some more information, definitely give me a buzz. You'll probably see some more stuff going up from New Camp, especially when we get our hands on a 920. But Eddie here, signing off. I'll catch you on the next video.